enough. Now the Federation would murder me to achieve its aims. Governor, if I could explain this, I would. I believe I can help, Captain. I've been able to determine that Commander LaForge was abducted by Romulans en route to Risa. It is likely that he was somehow forced to take part in the plot to assassinate Governor Vogue. I saw no evidence of Romulans. We just witnessed him acting very much alone. No, sir. You did not. I do not believe the commander is acting of his own accord. He has been receiving E-band signals through his visor, signals which are carrying direct commands to his brain. I have surmised that Commander LaForge was conditioned by Romulans, a process referred to historically and somewhat inaccurately as brainwashing. What to what end? Why would the Romulans want to kill me? The Romulans have always wanted to destroy the alliance between the Federation and the Klingons. If Mr. LaForge had killed you, Governor, I think you would agree. They might have succeeded. Who sent these signals? A cloaked Romulan ship? No, sir. That is not possible. The signals had to be transmitted within close proximity to the visor. Are you suggesting that there was a Romulan accomplice in close proximity to Mr. LaForge when he was receiving the signals? Yes, sir. I am. This Romulan accomplice? Who is he? I have narrowed the list of possibilities to two people. The only two people who were with Commander LaForge all three times the transmission was recorded. Captain Picard and Ambassador Kell. One of them may be concealing an E-band transmitter. If they would agree to be searched. I am a Klingon, an emissary of the High Council. I will not submit to being searched by you or anyone else on this ship. I am forced to agree, Captain. We will take the Ambassador with us and search him ourselves. Captain, I believe it to be in all our best interest if I remain aboard. I formally request asylum. I will certainly grant you asylum when you have been absolved of this crime. Good day, Taylor. 